So today, it's been a month since we've been running these EG4 version one and version two batteries. Right now we have it configured in a 25.5 kilowatt hour uh, battery bank. And these are all 5120 volts, 100 amps, 5120 watt hours. Now, right now we are running both our three and a half ton and our four ton air conditioner and we are bringing in 104 amps 5.76 kilowatts on our panels and our load is 6.48 kilowatts so 6500 watts and we're drawing 12 13 14 amps out of our battery but we also have this connected over here which we're bringing in like 30 amps which is twice as much as over there. So actually on these batteries over here, we are at 99% and we're charging while we're doing those. These down here, I think are, yeah, they're all at 100%. These version twos are doing a little bit better than this right here. It's at 55.2 volts and these are 55.18. 55.1, oh, 55 and 55.18. So they're all very close to this 55.2. And we have our thermostat. Let's see, it's, it's actually 10 to one right now. And it's about 76 degrees in the garage. That's what we have this set at, is 76 degrees. Um, and this is actually running, this one right now, we're just running that, and we're actually using those 16 AGMs to run that right now during the day to keep the garage cool. Now, we have our thermostat set for 60... Eight degrees and it's actually 72 in here and if we look outside it is let's see if we can zoom in on that it's about 110 degrees right now so if I can get a good enough angle on that to show that but it's about 110 degrees we still have another three degrees to go three or four so with this, we are running this four ton right now, and this three and a half ton, and we're running that all off of this solar over here. So we have this six kilowatt array right here. We also have this 1500 kilowatt array. And then these are 330 watt panels, 800 of those, 660, 1320. So we have like 26, 2700 watts off of that. And with all that combined, um, we are running both of those air conditioners. We also have, this is our charge controller, this 4,000 watts. We have one, two, three, four panels up there, two rows and two pergolas. So we have a total of 16 panels, that's 4,000 watts on there. And that is supplementing to keep our batteries charged right now. And it is brutal right now. <laughs> it's like 110 degrees out and uh, We've been running our air conditioners completely on the solar during the day and the batteries at nighttime. And we have been having no problems. Today was the roughest day. It was 87 degrees when we got up and all these batteries were at 40%. Um, state of charge when I got up 
for a 25.5 kilowatt battery bank and it took uh, probably it was like 11 o'clock before I got these all charged up to 100% and I was keeping my upstairs at um, 70 75 degrees um, so that was kicking on and off on and off and I had my living room mini split also going I had um, the uh, mini split right here going this morning while I had that one up there um, just kind of cool that off a little bit more over there. But right now I have both my mini splits off downstairs. And with it being 110 degrees out, it is, uh, temperature set at 71 degrees up here. So it's 71 degrees upstairs right now. Well, it's 110 degrees outside. And, Let's see, that was, was that 70 degrees down here? I believe that was 72 degrees downstairs. So that's all off of just running solar. Now I don't run the downstairs air conditioner at night at all. I don't run any air conditioning at all at night because by five, six o'clock, it's usually around 68 degrees upstairs on the thermostat and it's usually around 68 to 70 downstairs so like this morning when we got up when we went to bed last night at eight o'clock it was still like 108 degrees outside we got up at six o'clock it was 87 degrees and all we did was use the upstairs air conditioner but see, one of the things we're doing is we're keeping our garage cold here. And our garage will be around 75 degrees when we go to bed at 8 o'clock. So that helps to keep the upstairs cool with all... It used to be 110 degrees in here. <laughs> well, it was 110 degrees outside. So it makes a huge difference keeping my garage cool. But I just wanted to show you that... With this 12 kilowatt, you can run two air conditioners. Right now we're drawing in 103 amps, 5.75 kilowatts. We're at 55.6 volts. The load is 6.66 kilowatts. And we're drawing 16 amps out of our battery, but we're supplementing it with like 36. So we actually have 20 amps being split up to go into these batteries down here to keep them nice and topped off. See that's charging in like 0.8 and these down here are staying at 100% while these are charging up a little bit off of that. So we're pretty much staying right around 100% on that. But I just wanted to show you that in order to keep this, now at night time, we set this at um, 76 to 78 degrees upstairs. And if it's set at 76 degrees on the thermostat, it's about 74 to 76 in the bedrooms upstairs. If we set it at 78 degrees in the hallway, it's about 76, 77 degrees in the bedroom. And like I said, we had it at 70, 77 most of the night. I think at three o'clock in the morning, I woke up and I put it on 78. And then when I came down here at six o'clock, the battery bank was an average of 40%. So we still had plenty of battery left to um, keep going more, but it's uh, pretty brutal trying to keep the house cool. Now, I have five batteries. I'd like to get one more, and at that point, I'll get the six-slot um, cabinet, and I'll have all six batteries in the one cabinet. And 
I have these in parallel with that down there, and all that's not the really right way to do it. They really stay pretty close to each other. So these down here always stay extremely tight at, um, oh, probably, like, it'll be like 99%, um, percent, but they'll be at like, uh, say, 55.2, and there's maybe a point, 15.2 difference between these very, very short period of time, and then they all pretty much stabilize. Like right now, it's it's discharging because it's already at 100%. It doesn't need, now it's in standby, that it's charging, so it's constantly fluctuating right there, so you'll get a little bit, but you gotta understand that even with these batteries, these wires you have over here for your positive and your negative, and then your cables here, the type, the resistance in each one is gonna be different. So that's gonna make a difference in the way each one of these batteries are and compared to each other with the amount that it's charging and the state of charge. So, but just wanna let you know, if you're trying to run your air conditioner or like me two air conditioners during the day and then one air conditioner at nighttime upstairs and when i got up this morning my downstairs without running a downstairs air conditioner from 5 p.m no 6 p.m until 6 a.m it was at 78 degrees downstairs which is normal considering it was 87 degrees still outside so but upstairs, it was like 76, 77 uh, in the hallway and in the bedrooms. So a little bit cooler upstairs. But you got to understand that on a two-story house, cool air is going to drop. So it really does a good job um, keeping the downstairs cooled all night long, even though there's not an air conditioner running. So it's... Uh, now I have... 250 watt panels mostly connected to that, but I have like that's between 10 and 11,000 watts that I have connected to this, and then this has 4,000 watts to supplement it. Um, but like if my air conditioner downstairs or upstairs kicks off, which it probably hasn't. No, it's still at 6.6 .6 kilowatts. But when one of those kicks off, this will drop down to like 0.5, almost down to zero, because it doesn't need it to charge anymore. So it's really nice. But my electric bill is on grid in the wintertime when we really don't use any electricity except for to cook and... Um, you know, normal electricity, dishwasher, washer, dryer, whatever. It's like $60, $70. Right now, with it being 110 to 113 degrees out every day this month and being 82 to 87 at night, it is going to be right around $95. So, and you got to understand out here, right now in July, my electric bill for a kilowatt hour just doubled. So $30 more, 25 to $30 more for keeping my house cooled with two air conditioners running it totally on solar during the day and battery at night on life pose. The, uh, it's not a bad deal, especially out in Arizona. I mean, most of my neighbors running their two air conditioners on a two-story house, their bill's about eight, $900 a month. So our bill should come in right around eight or $900 for the entire year. We're not gonna go off grid, we can't go off grid. Um, you just can't do it in, in the city. But to keep my electric bill down under eight nine hundred dollars a year when my neighbors are paying five to seven thousand dollars a year 
and I'm heating my pool and I'm running my pool pump 24 hours a day and I'm running those freezer, that freezer, this freezer. So that's a seven, five and a five cubic foot. And we're running this and this stays on the inside at 33 degrees, almost 24 hours a day. And the freezers are close to zero and it's all off of solar. So now these we don't run at night. This is just for my daytime for the garage to run that. Um, and you can see that's hanging at 56. So we could probably knock that down a little bit to 72 to get the garage a little cooler over here. But I just wanted to show you, it's been a month now and we're being able to 100% of the time run our air conditioning and keep our house cooled 24 hours a day using the solar during the day and the battery bank at night, the 25.5 kilowatt battery bank at night. And we're not having any problems at all. Usually when it's about 105 degrees out during the day and 75 to 80 at night, we usually have like 60% left in our battery bank. So it's gonna get interesting. We'll see when it gets up to 115, 118 degrees. Usually we get a few of those days. We might get down in the 30, 35% state of charge range on this battery bank, and we'll see. Anyways, just wanted to share that with you. It is possible in this brutal Arizona heat to be able to not only run the air conditioners for our 2,500 square foot house, but also for our three car tandem garage. So, that, you know, it's like 20, 2,900 square feet, maybe 3,000 somewhere around there that we're keeping air conditioned and it's all off of solar while we're also running our freezers, fridges, pool pump. Um, and it's all off of solar. So if you do it right, you can do it. So, but you gotta have something like this that can start up these air conditioners. That's a low frequency off-grid 12 kilowatt grow watt. And that will surge up to almost 39,000, 40,000 watts when it kicks on. But I got soft starts on both of my three and a half ton and four ton. Without those soft starts, I couldn't start it up even with this. Need those soft starts on there. And, um, it is really, really nice being able to keep our house cool like this. Now, if you wanted to run your house warmer at 75, 76, instead of being set at 68 to 70 during the day, you could do that too. I just do that because it um, super cools the upstairs and it keeps the air conditioner from kicking on so often. But honestly, when the air conditioners kick on at night, or the one air conditioner upstairs, the three and a half ton, it only kicks on for like three or four minutes. And then it doesn't kick on for another 15, 20 minutes. So it really doesn't turn on that often. Anyways, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day and we'll be doing some more videos. See you soon.